Hello again everyone! So you're planning a trip to France and you're looking for exotic places that you can visit. I'm talking places that are absolutely fabulous and culturally enriching, the type of places that will make you exclaim, ooh la la. Well, look no further because that's what we traveling is going to present to you in this video. We'll talk about everything from historical sites to cultural landmarks, recreational centers and areas of intense serenity that will make your visit to the French Republic a memorable one. So sit back and relax while we lay out the top 10 places that you absolutely must visit in France. Number 10. Marseille Marseille is one of the oldest and the second largest city in France. It's one of the heavy cosmopolitan cities that are known for its ambience and prestigious blend of urban and classic settings that make it an exemplary place to see. Marseille is known for its diversity because it is home to a lot of migrants, hence it consists of different ethnicities. It is also famed for its environment and closeness to the sea, which is why it's home to a very interesting place. The Viewport, also known as the Old Port of Marseille. The Viewport is at the end of the Canabier, a major street in Marseille. The Viewport surrounds a marina of yachts and it is well known for having great cafes by the water, restaurants that serve delicious seafood and a nice chain of hotels. It's a place you go to relax and enjoy the sights. The port itself is old and rich with history and it is believed to be able to hold up to 1,200 ships at a time. Quite interesting if you ask me. It's a wonderful location with lots of activities to do, like trying out the local delicacies to try out and the opportunity to go on a cruise. So go see the viewport of Marseille, it's quite eccentric. Number 9. The French Alps Now for a more pristine and natural experience you should check out the French Alps in the southeast of France specifically the area surrounding Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc is one of the tallest mountains in the world. It's actually the highest mountain in Europe, with its snow-capped peak that's about 4,810 meters high. That's about 12 times longer than the Empire State Building. Depending on the time of the year, a trip to the French Alps is a different experience. In the summer, people typically go hiking and mountain climbing. And that's all well and good. But during the winter, there's a different kind of fun. The winter season brings the snow, and where there's snow, there are snow sports. You'll get to go alpine skiing, snowboarding, dog sledding, and all other cool snow-based activities. The serenity of the French Alps is quite nice, with places like the Dauphine region, the historical village of Chamoin, and Annecy, which has great lakeside scenery that looks like it was taken out of a fairy tale. Number 8. Brittany Brittany is one of those places that includes goosebumps. It has a certain confirmation when it comes to heritage and environmental calmness. The scenery is lush and colorful with sandy beaches and rocky coastlines, where the denizens are privy to large and spectacular waves hitting their shores. Brittany has many beaches, most of which are associated with towns and villages, blessed with culture and historic fascination, not to mention the exemplary beach resorts that have attracted tourists for years. The beaches are numerous. There's the Plague de Lecluse, Bon Secours Beach in St. Malo, and of course, La Ball Beach, and so many others. The beaches are filled with people from all around the world, all seeking this pristine experience, so you will not be alone. This is your chance to meet diverse people, and also to enjoy the local pastries and comfort that Brittany has to offer. Number 7. Alsace Villages now let's talk about the villages of Alsace. Understand that some of the prettiest villages you will find in France are all tucked away in the evergreen hills of Alsace. Alsace is right where the Rhine River borders the Vosges Mountains. The Alsatian villages consist of half-timbered houses and churches, all finely decorated with beautiful flowers. A place like the Alsatian village of Bibernai is widely known for its charming houses. Most villages are full of cheerful flowering balconies and pedestrian cobblestone streets that just give Alsace an ethereal feel. France's Villages Fleuris Award, which is an award that is granted to villages with the best floral arrangements, has been won by the Alsatian villages back to back due to their artistic imagination. The homes from the Alsatian village, Ribeauville, is also adorned with potted flowers. There's also Bergheim that adopts the medieval culture from the Middle Ages, and there's so many other villages that are exotic and serene to visit. Number 6. Fields of Provence I'm going to start by saying this. Provence is gorgeous. No, really, this place feels like it was taken straight out of a fairy tale. Provence has landscapes with surplus olive groves, nice hills and lavender fields that are actually purple. No jokes, my friend, the fields look as if they were painted by someone. It's almost hard to believe that it's natural. 
The fields of province are full of unusually colored landscapes with little villages settled well in the valley and also on the rocky edifices. Famous artists like Matisse, Cezanne, and my personal favorite Picasso have all been inspired by the beautiful scenery of province. The natural beauty of province immerses visitors in a place where it feels like art has come alive. Not to mention the cobblestone streets that allow you to take strolls thanks to the conducive weather. And if you don't feel like strolling, you can spend your day in surplus outdoor cafes. Province is also famous for its delicious cuisine, most of which is based on vegetables, herbs, and of course, olive oil. So without a doubt, a trip to province will be an enjoyable experience. Number 5. The Côte d'Azur, the French Riviera Although I mentioned some very good water-themed areas in France, I wouldn't feel good if I didn't tell you about the Côte d'Azur, also known as the French Riviera. It is the longest coastline stretch in France, ranging from Saint-Tropez to the Mentor borders of Italy. The Côte d'Azur actually means the Coast of Blue, which just sounds transcendental when spoken aloud. The coast is actually really beautiful, with the sea reflecting a dark hue of blue, hence the name. During summer, the seaside resorts are heavily packed with beach lovers and fun seekers, all enjoying the serene environment and calming waters. Even the wealthy and esteemed persons will find themselves here, most living in lavish villas, luxury yachts, and incredible buildings. And there's also the town of Nice, which I personally think is a really nice name, pun intended. The town Nice has some really nice panoramic sea views and stellar art museums that are just culturally enriching. The town Cannes is also famous for its celebrity film festival and legendary hotels that pamper you to the point of zen. Number 4. Mont Saint Michael Rising from the coast of Normandy is the prestigious Mont Saint Michael, a ginormous church perched 80 meters above the bay surrounded by defensive walls and bastions. UNESCO actually listed Mont Saint Michael as one of France's most striking landmarks, referring it as a pyramid of the seas, a mystical sight to behold. The place that attracts tourists the most is the Abbaye de Saint Michael, an absolute marvel of medieval architecture with mesmerizing peaks and spires. Visitors are always awed by the serene beauty of the Abbey Church with its harmonious fine detail and completely stimulating Roman-style nave. It's an absolute wonder, one that will count as an unforgettable experience when visited. Number 3. The Louvre Museum now, as I'm sure you already know, this is the largest museum in the world, and the museum itself is a historical monument. I mean, just look at the grand design and marvelous build of that place. With a lot of history and stories, the museum is a central landmark in Paris and a popular tourist center. If you want to experience the surreal feel of history and art, then the museum is a place for you. The Musée de Louvre has about 380,000 objects and 35,000 works of art on display. It displays objects of art, painting, books, archaeological findings, and so many other things that are just not seen anywhere in the world. And in case you haven't guessed it yet, it is the world's most visited museum, having over 15,000 visitors per day. It operates as an independent body, but it is owned by the French government. The museum is just wonderful and truly a sight to behold. So if you're interested in a very culturally enriching experience, and you want to access knowledge that has existed through the ages, then go visit the Louvre Museum. Number 2. Palace of Versailles The Palace of Versailles is an opulent complex and former royal abode that's located outside of Paris. This is a place that's absolutely resplendent and displays the culture of the French and its rich history. It has held the sway of the public's imagination for years due to its architectural grandeur and political history. To the public imagination, Versailles is the epitome of opulence, stated one writer. But the funny thing is, this residence started as a small hunting lodge until it was transformed into the castle of magnanimity that we see today by the Sun King, Louis XIV. The castle is full of so many interesting and mind-blowing aspects, but the most unreal space in the castle is the Hall of Mirrors. In the old days, it was where courtiers waited for an audience with His Majesty. In the hall, there are massive ornamental mirrors that reflect sunlight in a way that is just amazing to see. There's other parts of the palace that are breathtaking when seen. The fountains, the halls, and even the pristine art and decorations of the interior rooms, it's all mesmerizing. The castle is a cultural landmark, one that has attracted tourists from all around the world. Number 1. The Eiffel Tower The last place to visit needs no introduction, as I'm sure you already know. It is one of the most popular and iconic places in the whole of France. Located in the largest and most popular city in France, Paris. 
the Eiffel Tower stands at the pinnacle of French design and ingenuity. Since its unveiling to the world in 1889, the tower has attracted people from all over the world. It is the center for a lot of large events held in Paris, and it's also a recreational center, with the first two floors being the home of two restaurants and the top floor level offering a really good view of the Paris skyline. The Eiffel Tower measures up as one of the most incredible landmarks of France. Hold up for a minute guys, before we get to the end of the video, we would like to show you a bonus destination. Prehistoric Caves in the Pyrenees One of the greatest attractions of the Pyrenees region is the Grotte du Mas d'Azil, an immense cave decorated with drawings from the Magdalenian and Azilian periods. This tourist attraction deep in the Pyrenees mountains offers guided tours and admission to the nearby Musée de la Préhistorie. About an hour drive from the Mas d'Azil cave, the Grotte de Nion also has remarkable Paleolithic art dating from 14,000 to 10,000 BC. The Grotte de Nion is open to the public for guided tours. Well, that's it for this video. Let us know what you think about these places in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and also check out our other videos. Have a wonderful Sunday, guys, and see you next week!